Hello guys, it's me, Nikki. Hello. <laughs> On March 2nd, I am turning <clears throat> 26. And every time people say, ah, oh, so you're a Pisces. And then I go, why did your tone of voice go up? Tell me what's going on. And every single time I meet new people and they ask me about my sign and I say that I'm a Pisces, they go, ooh, I totally understand. And I'm like, what? What do you understand? <laughs> I'm gonna just be honest with you guys. I have no clue what zodiacs mean, what the stars mean, what a what a rising is, what your moon is. But today, I'm gonna take a deeper plunge into the world of the stars. I know James Charles recently did a video like this, but I really wanna find out more about my zodiac, dive into it, and create an homage of a look. Oh, I also want to mention that I am so excited that for this video, I'm partnering up with CoverGirl. Put the bass in your walk, head to toe, let your zodiac talk. So, that is what we're doing today. Uh, before we get started, for all you zodiacies out there, I think some necessary information you would like to know is that my son, my, my zodiac is Pisces, my moon is a Scorpio, and my rising is a Cancer. And I have absolutely no idea what any of that means. If you do, now is the time to tell me. Finally, I'm about to get some enlightenment on what I am. <laughs> so without any further ado, if you would like to get your zodiac on uh, while applying some makeup and having fun with it, then keep on watching. All right, so for this look, I wanna create a sort of sea creature, mermaid, glam type of look because, you know, we're paying homage to the Pisces. And the symbol of Pisces essentially is two fishies swimming away from each other. So water, fishies, obviously mermaid. <laughs> So during this video, I'll look up facts about Pisces and see if I relate to that or if it's totable. But before we get to all of that, it is time to prime because not to prime is a what a crime. For primer today, I'm using the Farsali liquid powder. This is the ultimate barrier between your skin and makeup. It really creates that primed layer that keeps your makeup on all day long. Now, like I mentioned, I am so honored to tell you that this video is in partnership with CoverGirl because I am using their CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. And when I look at the packaging, it says 12 hour wear. It has a comfort matte finish and it is a oil-free formula. This right here has a flexi hold technology. So what that means is that it creates a strong and flexible film on the skin that is still very comfortable. It promises to be transfer proof that it minimizes the appearance of pores and blurs imperfections. Ah, enough talking, let's get it on my face. I'm using the colors L10 and L30, and just to let you know, there are 40 shades in this range of matte made foundation. The foundation also has an airbrush effect that provides a smooth, filtered, and flawless look. Oh. Okay. So it claims to have a medium to full coverage and I absolutely agree. I feel like it's very buildable, but do you see that sort of like skin-like shine it still has? That is good, especially for like a dewy mermaid look that we're doing today. It's exactly what we need. All right, cover girl. If you're liking the look of this foundation, it is available for $11.49 at Ulta. Time for concealer, and of course I'm using my go-to Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer. In a second, I'm about to pound this into my face, and then after, I'm setting my face using my Dermacolor Fixing Powder, and this is a waterproof powder. As I blend this in, let's talk about Pisces, okay? Your sign symbol is two fish swimming in opposite directions. This represents your ability to simultaneously live in reality and fantasy. Your head may often be in the clouds, but you somehow remain pretty grounded. Okay, I can definitely find myself in that. I feel like I am a total dreamer. Like I can think about stuff all day long, like kind of daydream all day long but at the end of the day, I'm still a very grounded person, um, and I despise people that 
kind of start floating and um, think they're all that. So I, if I have to talk about myself, I agree about me being really grounded because I have an amazing support system of friends and family that keep me human, that keep me with my feet on the ground. And as soon as I start acting like I'm all that, they're like, calm it down, queen. Okay, the Jouet paired with the CoverGirl Matte Maid. Look at that. Ooh, ooh. Give it to me. Serve it on a platter. Get it? Fish? Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna set. <laughs> Neptune is your ruling planet, which is why you're always drifting off to dream world. I just said that. It's also the reason why you're an intuitive and compassionate individual. Oh my God. The situations where I had to just trust my gut and then I didn't. Then in the end, it turned out that I had to trust my gut. So I like to think that I'm intuitive. I always kind of feel the vibe of certain people or certain situations. And I'm, I'm like a sponge. I absorb everything. So if I get a certain vibe from you, I like as a sponge, I absorb that and give that back. And my intuitive is always like the 27th voice in my head. That's like, girl, listen up. <laughs> so um, again, Something I agree with. Your sign rules the 12th house of subconscious. This represents your connection to your spirit. Spir <clears throat> this represents your connection to your spirituality. You're an open person who wears their heart on their sleeve and you have this house to thank. Well, thank you, 12th house of subconscious. Definitely hasn't helped me in all situations. I like to think I'm an open book, but throughout the years and throughout living on YouTube and becoming a, a person in the public eye, I definitely tone that down a little bit because it's so hard to trust people um, nowadays, sadly. But I like to think that at my core, I'm an open book, but nowadays, absolutely not. All right, I'm gonna do a browse off camera. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna do one eye off camera too to kind of see where we're going with this look. I might do that, so I'll be right back. The Pisces power colors are mauve, lilac, purple, violet, and sea green. Better start only wearing those shades from here on out. Well, that uh, turned out to be a little bit different for me. <laughs> so like I said, I wanted to pay an homage to the water, to mermaids, and I came up with this very fun, colorful, mermaidish look. I just wanted to get creative for once, and after doing my Valentine's Day cloudy look, I was like, I wanna do that more often because it really gets my spirit going. So I went in with uh, <clears throat> sea green, there's purple, there's violet, there's lilac, there's even a bit of pink. So just the pink is like, mm, not really your power color, but you know, rules are there to be broken. In my previous video, I primed using the NARS Soft Matte Complete concealer, and I really liked what it did with eyeshadows. I feel like it blended a lot faster, and I had to think less about blending as a whole. So I'm taking that concealer, and that is going on my eyelids. Let's play with some color, shall we? So I'm going in with the uh, Stacey Marie and Be Perfect Carnival Extra Large Pro Palette. I'm taking this shade right here and that is called Showboat. See, a boat. Everything is aligned with the stars. This color is going on the inside of the eye, well not inside of the eye, but like the inner portion. And we're just stamping it onto that NARS base. And from there, we're gonna build it up into the crease and we're gonna swoop it out. Alrighty, we're dipping back into this queen right here and the Blood Lust palette by Jeffree Star, and I'm taking this color right here. This is called Take the Crown. That is going on the inner corner, and on top of that, Wet Jewel. That is just everything, isn't it? 
Now it is time to cut the lid and I'm using the Blank Canvas Acid Rain by P. Louise and it's gonna go from here all the way to there swooping up as well. Using Take the Crown, I am filling up the first portion of the new cut crease. The cut lid. Oh, I am obsessed with this color. And I'm bringing this color all the way over to about the outer edge. And then I'm going into a Vivid Mood and just deepening the inner third of the lid. And then lastly, I'm going in with this shade right here called Beauty Sleep, and we're applying this, winging it out into the temple. And how good does that look in the mix? Look at that. Oh, yes. Now using a purple liquid lipstick, I am creating a fierce ass wing. For the bottom, I'm going in with Blood Queen. Okay, and then I go back in with Beauty Sleep and kind of fill up whatever is left. And I love this little trick that I'm about to do because right now it looks like a mess, but I'm using this lighter reflective shade here on the inner corner, blending about halfway in. But then when you take a pointed blender brush and you go underneath that sort of lighter color, Go underneath it and really start smoking and blowing it out. It's gonna create a nice little depth for you. Then you could totally leave it like this, but I wanna make this very dreamy and colorful. So I'm going back into the Be Perfect palette and I'm taking the colors Foolish and Pep Talk, so the, the peach coral and the bright pink, and I'm gonna smoke out the lower lash line into a tear-like shape, and then also some pink on the temples. I'm applying lashes now off camera, and then it's time for more Pisces fun and glitter. All right, so I'm loving where this is going. Now I want to lay down a couple more things before I go in with the mermaid glitter. Can you see that crazy glitter reflection? Oh, there you go. For that, I use the Extreme Frost by Jeffree Star Cosmetics in the color Choking on Ice, and I feel like they work best with fingers. So I'm just gonna pick some up and literally smear it on the cheek. Yes, mermaid! Mermaid fantasy! That is done. Now the glitter is this right here. It looks like big scales like a mermaid. This is by the Gypsy Shrine. It is called Snow Queen. Oh my God, I am living for this. This is absolutely what my soul needs today. Before we get to lips, I need to see who some famous Pisces are out there. Famous Pisces. Drew Barrymore? Drew Barrymore is a famous Pisces. Oh, I love her. Uh-huh, Emily Blunt. Hell yeah. Steve Jobs, are you kidding me? Justin Bieber, I knew that because his birthday is the day before mine. Shaquille O'Neal, that's it. That's the list, I'm done. Liza Minnelli, oh my God, I am surrounded by the, oh my God, Simone Biles, I'm done. I'm surrounded by the greats. For lips, I wanna do a nice, juicy, wet gradient lip so it looks like I've been Sucking on a popsicle under water, what? So I'm taking one of my favorite nude lipsticks. And then I'm taking the brand new House Laboratories um, Le Monster Matte Lip Crayon in the color Rebel. Okay, and this is going on the inner rim of the lip. Oh, I always gotta drop something, huh? And then to finish, some gloss. 
And that's it guys, that concludes my Pisces inspired makeup tutorial as I dive into the world of me. And I must say I had a lot of fun with this. I think this could be a great mermaid party look, a great glitter, a festival look, or if you wanna celebrate being a Pisces, I feel like this could be a great, great look. Maybe I should turn this into a series where I do my moon, Scorpio, and my rising, Cancer. So definitely let me know in the comments down below, or give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see me do that next. Also comment down below what sign, what zodiac you are. For today's Dutch word of the day, of course it can only be one, zodiac. Sterrebeeld, sterrebeeld. A Pisces truly is the dreamiest sterrebeeld of them all. <laughs> if you wanna get featured in my next video, all you have to do is leave the Dutch word of the day down below in the comments. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and hopefully I will see you on the next one. Swim, swim away. <laughs>